Kayo Iku Solati Misola. I'm a student of Covenant University studying accounting and I'm in final year. So today I want to introduce the vlog to you. This vlog will on this vlog we'll be exploring relationship. Relationship with your friends, relationship with your family, relationship with colleagues, relationship with your partner, relationship with God. Just relationship, think of a relationship. So our first episode is be about love. What is love, love, love? To some people, love is sex, to some people, love is money, to some people, love is power, to some people, love is God. So now let's hear what other people have to say about love. Hi everyone, I'm Jaipo Anasi, final year student, accounting, Covenant University. I'm most excited, I'm head of Washington Unit, Covenant University, Chaplain team. Um, we'll be talking about love today. Uh, love is a word that has been misinterpreted. And for those who have gotten it, they know that it's an awesome, it's an awesome word. We're well, looking for love, looking for satisfaction in love other people give you. Probably boys or probably men or all that, even in a husband doesn't actually fill you up. I'm sure so many people are witnesses here. Because lots of people have been in so many relationships and you never just got the satisfaction you ever asked for. And that's why most times you just break up. What fills you up is the love that Christ gives to you. Remember the woman at the well? Remember what Jesus told her? Remember she had three husbands and yet she wasn't satisfied. She needed something deeper and that, thing, and that person was actually Jesus. So it was not a thing, it was a person. And the person of Elizabeth who has married three wives, three husbands, she said that relationships don't satisfy only Jesus. When Christ heals you, every other thing goes in line. We would love you to subscribe to this channel with Simi Speaks and trust me, we'll be blessed and enjoy it. Good day, guys. My name is Joko Tabatamula Isaac, I'm a student of Combat Engineering 500 level at Covenant University. What's love? I think love um, itself is an expression. It's an action word. It's what we use every day, it's what we every day. I think love is an act of expressing yourself. Now when I say expressing yourself, your perspective might be wrong, but when you express yourself, I think it's an act of love. You're trying to show people that you actually care. Maybe not necessarily the way they might expect, but in that way you're expressing yourself and telling people you care. Now what is lost? Um, Lost and love, they sound familiar, they sound similar, but I think lost simply deals more with them. I don't want to say the flesh because that sounds so spiritual. Because um, I have read so much about spirituality, but I think lost just has to do with you, you know, having um, a material motive. So everyone should keep loving, love yourselves, even the Bible says it, love your friends. Love everyone around you, irrespective of their physique, their finances, their mindset. Your love can change their mindset. So keep watching the vlog and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Basi Yomo, a student of Covenant University, 400 level economics. I'm the student of Lee. Okay. Um, today I'm speaking on love, God's love, difference between love and love and how we can love one another in relationship. So I want to start on the note of the scripture, John 14, 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love one another. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciple. Now reading that scripture, I got to understand what God's purpose for man is. And before Jesus Christ came, um, Moses gave the law, an eye for an eye, this for that, love your neighbor as you love yourself, the golden rule which we all know. But when Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ gave a new commandment to his disciples and also to us as Christians. That they should love one another just as he has loved us. Now I want to create this triangle in your mind or this picture in your mind. Now let's say God loves us, we love one another. Now it's different from you loving the other person just as you love yourself is I'm loving the other person as God loves us and we know for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life relationship is where two friends grow together where two, there is mutual friendship between one person and another now relating that to love Let's also remember that love casts out fear and what can stop us from the love of God? That means God's love is unstoppable. So now, 
in, in our friendship between one another, God is expecting us as friends and as lovers that our, our love for one another should have no bound. That whether this person is weak, whether this person is strong, it should not be a limitation to how much love we are able to give to that person. So you watching this wonderful vlog, there are many topics that I want you to learn and grow and it will be very important for you to keep up with whatever topics are posted. So thank you very much for your time. God bless you. Hey guys, my name is Michael Bassi, a student of petroleum engineering, Copenhagen University. I'm here to talk about love. We can't talk about true love without talking about love himself, and that is God. And the Bible says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Now, my focus is on love. And we're meant to know, and from what the Bible has shown us, this has made us understand that you can't say you love someone without having something to show for it. And He came to show us the way, the pathway to love. So I can boldly say that love shows you the way to do what is right at the right time when you need to do. Now, comparing that love to your relationship. You can't say you love someone you're just meeting for the first time. There's this thing we do say that love at first sight. There's nothing called love at first sight. Because what they call love at first sight is what I would call lust. It's not possible to love someone you're just meeting for the first time. How do you explain that? Now, you can actually have affections. You can be attracted to the person and that attraction leads to love that leads to understanding that makes you want to know more of the person. That now leads to the love that you claim you have for the person. Now the Bible says in Romans 5 verse 5, because the, the B part of it that the love of God has shed our blood in our heart by the Spirit in us. So for you to love someone in a relationship, you need the help of the Holy Spirit. Because that spirit helps your love, it drives your love, which is the force that makes you want to sacrifice for that person. Now the trying said that it's an unsacrificial feeling you have for someone, a benevolent feeling. That means you're ready to take some shots for the person. So, a love without a sacrifice involved in any way, in your act, in your time, in your money, just as the five love languages that explain this, is no love at all. And like my mom would tell you, love is actually, or what would I say, true love is found in the inner person, in the inner you. Not the one that is made up by your mascara, by your foundation, no. Because this one can be destroyed, just like the Bible says, that if the foundation be destroyed, what can righteous do? So you have to go for that person, that inner person, because that is the true person you are in love with. The knowledge of that person inside of you is what builds up the love that lasts long. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Welcome back, guys. So we heard from some people what they think love is. So some people, love is patience. Some people, love is sacrifice. To some people, love is, inner, is about the inner beauty. So let me tell you what I read from a dictionary. I read that love is a constant affection you have towards someone. Is that true? Okay, so to me, God is love. Just like you see in 1 John 4, 7 to 11, God is love, love is God. God cares about you, God loves you, God trusts in you. That's why God sacrificed his child for you. Love to me is patience. Love to me is trust. Love cares about you. Love knows about you. That's why God gave us his only begotten son. God sacrificed for us. Love is patience. Love cares about you. So for you to say you love someone, for you to say you love your neighbor, you must know the person. In a relationship, for you to love someone, let me tell you, you have to be friends with the person first. So the love will be genuine. So the love will be genuine. We have types of love. We have agape, we have arose, we have philos, and we have stodge. But the greatest, the greatest of them all is, aga, is agape, and that's unconditional love. That's unconditional love, the one which God has for us. So for you to say you're in love with someone, you're in a relationship with, that means you must know the person. You must know the person inside out. So many relationships of nowadays, we see that they turn to be lovers first before they start being friends. And at that point, things they start having issues as well, and that makes their relationship come into a crash. For you to love someone, you have to be friends with the person first. Love will involve your time, will involve your heart, will involve your money, will involve you. You involve your time, but you need God to be able to show love to others. You need God. You must have known about God and be able to express it to others. That's what love is. You have to appreciate what the person carries. So you can send your, your comments, your questions to my email, which is written below. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. So please subscribe to this channel. 
and also please don't like the post.